hey, who drank all my juice? Well, at least I know what to do with this empty bottle. Unlike some materials that can only be recycled a few times, bottles and jars can be melted down and turned into new glass again and again, forever. At Demcom, we collect and smash up over 10,000 tons of glass each year. This broken glass is full of bits of labels and plastic caps and other junk. So we send it off to secondary processing facilities like this one. Here, high-tech equipment cleans the glass by running it through cool machines like air knives that blow away light debris while letting the heavier glass fall through, magnets and eddy current systems that pull out bits of metal, screeners that sort the shards by size and shape, and finally, optical sorting machines that detect the color of the glass shards as they flow by and blast them into separate bays with jets of air. The sorted glass that comes out of the end of the facility is much cleaner and purer than the glass that came in. It's called cullet, and glass manufacturers love this stuff. You see, glass is mostly made from melted sand, but we can also mix in cullet, which is easier to melt. This keeps glass out of the landfills and saves a ton of energy, because to make a bottle, we need to get these ingredients really, really hot. Like in this giant 2700 degree furnace. It takes a whole day to melt everything together into a thick goo that looks kind of like glowing honey. As this molten glass oozes out of the furnace, shears cut it into gobs that zip down into the forming machine. In the blank mold, a rod plunges into the glass, creating a miniature version of the bottle called a parison. In the finished mold, a blowing rod shoots air into the parison, expanding the glass out against the walls of the mold to create the final bottle shape. The red hot bottles are cooled slowly in a special oven called the Lear, strengthening them and a scratch resistant surface treatment is applied. High tech inspection equipment makes sure that all of the bottles are the right size and shape and don't have any defects that could cause them to break. Glass making is a lot of work, but it all starts right here when you recycle those glass containers. It saves energy and natural resources, and that's clearly a good idea.